Right. So we just follow. So as you can see in the picture, they are telling us that the Abacus, they started using Abacus about 2,500 years ago. So if we are in 2021, that means we are in 2021 years. So before, long time, it's very long, 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 long time ago, okay? So it started at a place called the Mesopotamia. That's what we see here, Mesopotamia. Then we have Egyptian, Persian, Greek, Roman, Chinese. That's what you can see on the screen. So they are showing us how it looked like. So it was used for addition and subtraction. Then we go to the Greek. Greek abacus. So they also used it, the Greek, Greek. So you see that the, uh, we have the Egyptian abacus. This is how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. So when they show you Egyptian abacus, this is how it looks like on the screen. following Down to the Roman Abacus. So now we move to the Roman Abacus. So the Roman abacus, this picture, that is how it looked like. The old, old, old abacus.
So they are showing us different types of abacus that they used long time ago before the one that we have. Now we have the modern abacus, what we have now. So we've seen all the other ones. So you see, for the for the Chinese abacus, they have the upper bead has two two beads. Do you see that? And then do you see that the Chinese abacus upper bead? There are two. So they have two beads at the top and then five, it's supposed to be five beads at the bottom. Do you see that? Yes. And then the Japanese one. You see that the Japanese has what one up, one upper bead and then four lower beads each. Do you see that? Yes. Just like yours. So yours is what type of abacus? The Japanese. Good Japanese abacus. So we see the types of the abacus, the olden ones, very old ones. So you see the pictures there. Yeah. So this is just a brief video I wanted you to watch. So the last time, what did we do? We talked about the part of the abacus. Apart from the past, we moved on to the technique. How to handle your abacus, how to hold it. 